Hi, uh, so today I'm here to talk about diseases. As we all know that in comparison to the olden ages, the modern age has more variety of diseases, has more diseases, and probably more dangerous diseases. There are more patients with cancer, there are more patients with diabetes and whatnot. In my own personal experience, as a mental health professional, I've come across several patients who have from time to time come with a diagnosis from a medical professional or from the hospitals saying that they are having this now as an issue. For example, the current diagnosis, which has been made to almost all my clients, like it's like everyone is coming to me with the same diagnosis and that is ADHD. And they are all adults of different ages, all above 25, some in 40s and 50s, and diagnosed with ADHD. And they are also put on ADHD medications. The reason why I'm doing this uh, talk today is the thoughts which are coming into me. Why is it that from time to time, suddenly, there is an increase in same type of diagnosis spread across people? It's a question. I'm not the answer for it, although I know the answer, but I'm going to leave you all only with questions for today. Another is, More and more diagnosis is now going towards diabetes. If anyone has observed the campaigns of diabetes, the number of diabetic community services, organizations which are catering to those having diabetes, all that have increased in the past few months, and a lot of people have been already put on diabetic medications, even when they are pre-diabetic. And this again is not in my head, not in my thoughts, coming from clients I attend to. Although I cannot say that the sample size of this information is very high, but for sure, ADHD, I've been observing since past two or three years, rather I would say three years, it's pre-COVID, where a lot of people have been diagnosed with it. Now my question is, rather I would just put forward a rhetorical question is, and more than a question, let me just state it as a thought. What I feel is even the medicine industry, the hospital industry has become a business more than catering to the needs of the people, than actually focusing on the healing, than actually being more compassionate towards the human beings, their physical and mental health. Now I'm not labeling anyone. I'm not trying to pinpoint the doctors or the medical organizations or, or the pharmaceutical industry. Rather, I just want that, what do I'm talking today? We each need to take time to self-reflect as to what exactly is happening around us. What is this business about so many pills? What is this business about vaccines? What is this business about so much illnesses 
causing hospitalizations. Why is there less focus on the lifestyle, non-GMO food, encouraging that more? Why are in their organizations for free, working with people to change their routine lifestyle? Because isn't that the major cause of eventually a person ending up having an illness inside the body? Even mental health, the stresses around the job, the job timings, the way in which people are treated inside a workplace, the pressure a person feels right from managers to the subordinates. And this again, I am sharing with my experience of several years in the West. There are so many issues found at the workplace. Why aren't those issues being catered to, which is the major cause of a lot of people having insecurity, having anxiety, having depression, having actually no life left after coming back home from their workplace? COVID has been, a sev has been like a boon for several people. Like many people are now able to work from home, save their travel time. It really has been a boon. So why aren't there enough measures for free and organizations which are taking place of all this? I feel that we are lacking in that basic concept of prevention. And we are just focusing on secondary and tertiary prevention, rather not the first stage, the primary prevention stage. We are just catering to diseases. When a person already has a disease in the body, when a person has already gone to an extent of mental health issues, that then the person has no other way but to go to a professional because they are no longer able to handle it on their own. So where is that primary prevention stage vanished? I would like to leave you all with one question. The present time, Everybody has been relying on popping in pills, right from multivitamins to whatnot. This COVID has brought a lot of, you know, truths outside, I feel. That is how I feel. So I'm not saying that I'm the researcher or I'm putting it as a fact. But that is how I feel. What is happening is, Firstly, the PCR test was done so rampantly all around the world. Then the PCR test in itself is being said that it's actually not uh, able to differentially diagnose or differentially say that this is COVID, this is the flu virus and this is the other virus. And yet the PCR tests were done and a lot of patients, even the asymptomatic ones were said to have been having COVID. And the fear around the COVID, which was much more higher than the actual symptoms which the persons felt in their body. This brings me to that one question. All these tests, all these gadgets and instruments, all these organizations which are actually doing the blood tests and other tests, Are they honest or are they doing a business of profits? Again, I'm not blaming anyone because I do not know each organization, but these are genuine questions coming to me now. All these organizations and tests which has come up, which is labeling us to have certain illnesses, 
which is taking us to pop and pills. Are they doing business? Or are we actually being taken care by all of them? So I'm leaving you all with this question to think. Blessings to you all, a lot of healing.